Hello, I'm Amol Parikh, co-CEO of Doodle Labs. Today, I'm talking about our Helix radios, which are designed specifically for advanced military robotic systems. We're going to go over some features as well as the various form factors that we've designed for various use cases. The Helix configuration of our Mesh Rider radio lineup was originally developed with sponsorship by DIU to develop a data link that met the requirements of their Blue US program and for them to help set standards for other DoD programs. So some highlights of Helix. All of our radios are multiband and are available in various unlicensed and federal band frequencies. In our defense offering, we have models that cover M1 through M6, which is 1.6 to 2.5 gigahertz as well as a combination that includes L-band, S-band, and C-band. To take full advantage of our multi-band radios, we introduce a new feature called Sense. It's frequency agility that allows the radios to experience uh, noise or degradation of the data link, and then automatically and rapidly switch to a better operating part of the band, different channel, or a different frequency band altogether. Since monitors link quality, it rapidly switches to a different channel or a different frequency band altogether to maintain an optimal link. Maintaining a low size, weight, and power consumption is very important to many drone platforms, and none are more crucial than in DoD battlefield use cases that are mission critical. Our mini form factor is a 2x2 MIMO in just 36.5 grams, and our nano is a 1x1 SISO made for the smallest drone platforms as even smaller at 26 grams. We support small platforms for short range reconnaissance in just the three to five kilometer range, all the way up to fixed wing platforms in Ukraine that are achieving 80 kilometers, sending eight full HD video over a 256 bit encrypted link. Per Blue UAS requirements, our full lineup is FIPS 140 3 compliant. We also offer 256 and 128 bit AES encryption, which is software selectable. We strategically leverage leading commercial technology. Uh, which allows us to continuously update our platform as well as maintain a relatively low cost price structure while providing the highest levels of performance. To facilitate easier integration and faster go to market, we've partnered with other Blue UAS platforms and components, including Aterion's QGC Gov, Modal AI's Voxel 2 Autopilot, a couple of SROC controllers from Vantage Robotics and UXV Technologies, and many more. We think about designing large scale multi domain networks as well as how robotics platforms can specifically integrate into existing networks. And with that in mind, we've developed various use case optimized form factors that can be used as building blocks to really customize a networking solution to your particular needs. The Mini is our most commonly deployed model for drone platforms, as it perfectly balances peak performance over very long ranges while maintaining an extremely small size and weight. Nano. The Nano is the smallest radio in our lineup. It maintains the performance of the Mini, but we've removed an antenna to further reduce its size. This makes it a good option for extremely size and weight constraint platforms that are staying in about a five kilometer radius. The OEM is a workhorse integrated radio with a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot, GPS, in addition to our long range mesh rider link. It's designed to be easy to integrate and extremely flexible on how you use and interact with it. The wearable is like the OEM, it has the built-in Wi-Fi hotspot and the GPS, but the wearable comes in extremely rugged IP68 rated enclosure, and it comes with this attachable battery. Though we call it a wearable, it's really designed to be handheld or mounted or uh, either on a vehicle or a rapidly deployable fixed access point. Uh, the wearable allows you to connect an EUD, be it a phone, tablet, or laptop, to a mesh network. And it can be used as an alternative network solution for robotics platforms uh, like quadrupeds, UGVs, or even larger drones without any integration work required.